Bismillah wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Assalamu alaykum This is just a short um, speech if you like concerning brother Yaqub Obviously I'm going to try my best to attend the janazah tomorrow but there's some impediments at the moment that's stopping me from doing that but I will try my best If I cannot then hopefully the brother Abdul Aziz can just mention few yes, in summary few of the points that i'm going to mention now that i think pertinent to this brother and i think you know people should be aware of this um my name's mustafa brother yaqub was married to my mom and bear in mind i'm 38 this year so he was married to my mom when i was roughly between the age of four to six and a half and my earliest recollect recollections of brother Yaqub was Sunnah, Sunnah, pure Sunnah, pure Sunnah. He used to wear the, the turban, he used to wear the proper thobe, he used to even walk with the cane. And in my front room, he used to have the cane hung up. And this cane, because of what it represented, simply because it was a Sunnah of the Prophet, it had value in the house. It wasn't there to beat anybody, but it was important that people recognized, according to Yaqub's perspective, that this cane was a part, a part of the Sunnah of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Every single thing this brother used to do was Sunnah. The way he used to eat, the way he used to sleep, the way he used to go to the toilet, his mannerisms, everything. That's what I remember. When he used to come home, we all knew Yaqub is home. Silence. None of the stupidness and crazy behavior that us as kids used to be going on with in the house. Um, because my mum wasn't on the same wavelength as Brother Yaqub in terms of Iman, he had certain reservations that he wasn't happy with, such i.e. TVs being in the house, etc, 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 etc. And I have to be blunt and frank about this. You know, it got to loggerheads and it got to the stage where he made an ultimatum and he said to my mom, listen, I don't accept haram in my household for anyone that's under my watch, i.e. my wife and my wife's kids. So therefore, there's certain things that either you change them or I'm gonna leave, right? So either you give up these things or I'm gonna leave. So it's these haram things or me i.e. TV, blah, blah, blah. So she said, well, you know what? What you're calling towards would be stringent upon my kids and I don't think that they could hack stuff like that. So you go, you leave. So he left. Now, what I could tell you is this. I've observed my mum's path over the years and I've observed Yaqub's path over the years. So let's start with my mum. When she left brother Yaqub, her life was completely turbulent and she went through various adversities and hardships and through over the years I always said to myself mum you should have stayed with brother Yaqub but people make their choices and it is what it is my mum's passed away she's meeting from Allah whatever she did as Yaqub has passed away may Allah have mercy upon him and he's going to meet from Allah whatever he did in parallel Yaqub never ever changed in terms of in terms of zuhud abstaining from dunya he may have changed in terms of openly showing sunnah in his dress code because people used to mock him a lot but he never ever changed in principle what do i mean throughout the years and i've known yaqub for 34 years i've never seen this brother ask anybody for anything i've never seen him complain I've never seen him sad. I've never seen him down. I've always seen him attending different masajid throughout London on feet. I've never seen this brother driving. Now imagine, over the course of 34 years, whenever I see brother Yaqub, I've seen him going to a mosque or leaving a mosque on foot. Imagine. Some people used to mock brother Yaqub. And these are the people of dunya, these are the people from his generation. Some people that 
subscribe to certain beliefs and think because of these beliefs that they're better than other people they're all known I'm not going to mention who they are but these people from his generation who were older used to mock him slander him and backbite him you know why because this brother wasn't into dunya he never had a job and stuff like this but just remember this this same brother who never had a job etc was never begging anybody for, body for nothing was always grateful whenever you see him was always speaking about a sunnah or a new hadith <clears throat> now brother Yaqub has passed away and what what gets to me the most is this is that people sent me the text and I just brushed it away because I didn't know Yaqub as Muhammad Naji Allah I knew him as brother Yaqub so mashallah the brother Abdul Aziz told me no brother you know it's brother Yaqub that's what hurt me the most because when I saw the text I brushed it away we see many funeral texts can you donate and most times we only donate to people that we know unfortunately so I brushed it to the side and then it came to my attention that he was in his house deceased for a period of around two weeks before anybody found him let me explain something to you brothers that are listening to this and listen carefully right dunya is not about appearances appearances if it's in accordance with the sunnah and reflects the behavior of the prophet sallallahu then there will be a reward but allah looks at the hearts of people and this is the main thing there's a hadith, a narration, where one Sahaba was sitting outside the house of the Prophet and he was crying. But he was in the masjid and he was crying. So Umar ibn Khattab came to him and said to him, Why are you crying? Has one of your brothers passed away? Has one of your relatives passed away? So if it be the case that someone from your family has passed away, then tell me I can weep with you. If that's not the case, then tell me, why are you crying? So he said, Ya Umar. It's not because any of my relatives have passed away But it's because, of, because of, it's because of a hadith That he, and he pointed to the grave of the Prophet ﷺ Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam told me And he said, roughly, he said Inna Allah yuhibbu al-atqiyya Al-akhfiyya Al-abriyya Al-awfiyya Qawmun idha hadaru Lam yu'rafu Wa idha ghabu Lam yuftaqadu Qulubuhum masabih al-huda يَخْرُجُونَ مِنْ كُلِّ فِتْنَةٍ مُظْلِمًا In summary, that the Prophet ﷺ said, Allah loves those who are righteous, those who are akhfiyah, right? Either hidden in their affairs or light. Their carbon footprint is very light. They don't take much from dunya. Me, myself, I'm a person that I take much from dunya. So I don't fall into this category. But we, rep, we, rep, we just because we don't do things, we don't try to hide away from the truth. The truth is, Brother Yaqub was from amongst these people al akhfiya His carbon footprint was light in dunya al abriya Righteous people Right? Righteous people um, al awfiya That when they make promises or whatever They fulfill these promises And they carry out all of their promises People who When they are present in a gathering When they attend a gathering Nobody is aware of them Nobody knows them Right? And when they leave a gathering, nobody misses them. Their hearts are like are like lamps of guidance. And they appear from every dark test or trial that dunya can throw at them. They appear from these tests and trials successful. Brothers, they used to mock brother Yaqub from his generation. The older brothers, you know who I'm talking about. Who's mocking who now? Inshallah, Yaqub is in paradise. Where will you be? Yaqub is foundation. Yaqub taught my sister, who's not even practicing today, Quran. And she still remembers parts of it. So to Yasin. Every time she re recites these, these verses, and she does it now and then, Yaqub takes the ajr. Yaqub taught everybody in my, in my family deen. Every salah we do, Yaqub takes the ajr. My mom, walhamdulillah, she married, she memorized over 10 juzah. Yaqub taught, taught her every harf she, he, took, he took the ajr And that is the reality Right Wallahi Yaqub We are jealous of you Even though we can't abstain from dunya Even though we can't abstain from dunya Wallahi Even though we can't abstain from dunya The way you did Wallahi we are jealous of you And we recognize your struggle This dunya means nothing 
even if you have a lot of dunya if you can give it up at any time this is the main thing but people like Yaqub subhanallah when you read the hadith and you know certain realities you will remember Yaqub Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh